Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's check in here. And I've come across another Atlas interface. But this one out of all of them is the weirdest so far. Um, now normally when you get to an Atlas interface you get this weird looking little red eyeball sitting at the altar. Right? Well this one, as soon as I came in here with my ship, this is what I saw. And it looks as if there's the three races, almost. Like the, the Gek, the Corvax, and the Viking. And I'm about to find out what this Atlas interface has to offer. Okay, so this is another path, I suppose. You can choose to concede to the Atlas. And get guided to the center, I suppose. But I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this option and see what happens. I have become the harbinger, the pathfinder, the seeker of ways through me the universe to know itself. Interesting. Okay. So, needless to say, I'm going to be continuing my journey to the center, I suppose, uh, following the Atlas. Uh, because I'm really interested in the story behind the Atlas. And I feel like this is how... I mean, there's three different paths like, that you can choose. You can do your own thing and just kind of meander your way around. You can actually follow the path to the center, or you can follow the path of the Atlas. And I'm gonna choose to follow the path of the Atlas simply because of the story behind it. I, I want to know more. So, um, I'll keep updating and posting videos about the Atlas to kind of get a backstory behind it. And until next time, let's drag it out. I've been following the Atlas for a while now. And every time I get to another Atlas interface, I realized it was taking me further away from the center. And that's no bueno. So, I'm about to find out what happens when you refuse the Atlas. So, without further ado, here goes nothing. I am close to the end point, the sense of it upon me, a shimmer at the edges of my vision ghosting away when I attempt to focus my consciousness. I am torn, fear drags me back, fear of what shattering truth I shall learn. What drives me on is the curiosity, or is it curiosity, free will, is it the illusion, have I become automata? I am the experiment and the observer. This universe was created for my journey. It is built about the path that I follow. So, 
it says to come milestone Viking or above. And I know that Viking was like one of the last milestones I got. Um, darn it. See, if I accept now, I think I might actually be close to some sort of Atlas interface uh, ending for this story. I'm not entirely sure. Because I've run into a lot of Atlas interfaces. I've upgraded my hyperdrive so that now I have two upgrades to it, which means I can jump a heck of a lot further than I was ever able to on one warp cell. <sighs> so, I think... You know what? Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. One more, and then if... And then that's it. I want to see what it says after one more. Not long now, not far to go. The stars beckon with full fire. Okay. I didn't, I didn't get to finish reading that, but it says I'm really close to some kind of ending with the Atlas. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. I will pick this back up at the next Atlas. So hang on. Okay, so we're at the very next atlas, and I have no idea if this is the last atlas, or second to last, or what. Just hold back to find out. The final interface is revealed. The Atlas Beckoning. This is totality and for me. I am elated, terrified, and broken. Every waypoint has inexorably drawn me here, and I have come so very far. Revelation tears me asunder. My role is complete. My program ended. Nothing is real. The existence is an imitation of life, a model made by jaded intellect enslaved to their actuality as I am enslaved to mine what lies beyond that truth through the gateway lies the answer only the answer I embrace the truth of it through the gateway can you open up a portal or something I guess we're about to find out so far in this game, but I feel like the cops are so little. This universe is, is huge. How could I have finally gotten this? Says the Atlas interface is that way. Well, one way to find out. Let's go. Hopefully the last Atlas interface. Oh, whoops. Oh.
journey is complete. A great sense of fulfillment washes over me, but fades as I realize that for all my efforts, I am unchanged, unbidden. The atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway, and I realize what is about to happen if I let it. Birth a new star, ten atlas stone. Walk away and return to the galaxy. Well, I don't have ten atlas stones. So, if you're watching this, spoiler alert, you need ten atlas stones to birth a new star. Don't know what that means, don't know what it actually does. But there you go. But I'm going to walk away and return to the galaxy and continue my journey to the center. Simulation or not, I'm released to this linear path, free to explore now all the fabric of space reveals itself. Black holes within it, perhaps I'll something, something, I missed it. I'll have to go back and read it. But there you go. Um, that was the Atlas. So now, I can actually continue my journey to the center of the galaxy. So, I will make another video with, you know, what happens next, if I can make it to the center, or any major milestones that I may come across. So until then, thanks for watching, Lich Dragon out. So quick side note, after visiting the Atlas and unable to continue on my journey with the Atlas, it gave me the coordinates to a black hole which will hopefully help me in my journey to the center. Just wanted to throw that out there.